everybody and welcome to another video of Home for Obsolete Technology. In this video we are going to take a look at this old Philips PM3212 oscilloscope. I bought this for 80 euros, ship, shipping included. And as you see this was packed pretty bad. To be honest, when I first opened the package I was pretty sure this thing was damaged. I was pretty sure the oscilloscope CRT was damaged, but it seems like nothing broke. And I'm pretty surprised about that because it was not shipped very well. And the German shipment is not better than the US one, so they throw pack they like to throw packages. So please pack your things well if you want to ship these. But let's come to this oscilloscope. I bought this not so long ago and I want to test it. You know I have this old oscilloscope over there but it does not work right. It does not show what it should show. So I think I will definitely use this one in the future. If it works and that's what we are going to find out today. I'm you know, I have no idea what all these features mean. So we need to experience this thing a little bit. But as you saw, I got this sweet bundle. So let's take a look what is inside of it. So first thing is these adapters. And these are adapters for the connection down on the oscilloscope. And they adapted to, I think it is the this connector, but I'm not quite sure. But that's definitely nice to have. Next, we have a brand new measuring. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> you know these measuring things. Anyways, we have a second one. This one is definitely been used before. We have more cables. What are all these cables? We have these neat little adapters. And I don't know what they are for. But they look like this and it says um, PM 90H25, 10 mega ohms, 11 picofarad, 3.5 nanoseconds, 10 to 1, 500 volts max. And this package is filled with these things. And I have like 10 of these now. That's kind of neat. We have this manual and we have this which is the user manual I guess yeah that's it pretty interesting oh I, we have this cable too let's just power it up I'm using nah let's just power it up yeah something is So let's wait a minute or so. I mean this has one last tube which is the tube here. So it should not take very long. So this is... You see this? It makes everything brighter. I have no idea how this thing works. Um. But we should see something. Let's just uh, A. Oh, we are seeing something. Oh my god. Cool. Position, yeah. Oh, you see this? The potentiometers need some cleaning. I don't know what that is for. Um, I had it on AC and because there is no AC, it was not showing it. I don't know what TV means and 
I don't know what slope means. Um, so we have 0.1 millivolts uh, to yeah, a few millivolts. And this is... You know, I know what these functions do, but I can't really explain them. If you want to learn more about oscilloscopes, this is not the right channel, all right? Um, so yeah, let's, I think the first thing we should check is if this function up here works, which is just to calibrate the stick, as I'm going to call them. Yeah, that looks good. That looks awesome. Oh my God. All of these potentiometers need to be cleaned. You see this? This um, shows how big it is on the screen, but in reality, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'll just shut up and don't explain as much as I do normally because I have no idea what this thing actually does. Now, I just know how to use it, all right? That's enough for me. So, and this is fine tune. Mm, nah, that's, uh, all of them, but this looks awesome. It's stable. Everything's fine. Everything works fine with this thing. I'm so happy right now. Ah, this is channel A, channel B, both of them, both of them, but chopped. I don't know what that is. You can't really see everything. And this is channel B. Perfect. I'm happy. And I really think this is it for this video. So make sure to subscribe to this channel if you... I wonder if one of the old capacitors is starting to freak out. Um, or is contact the... Ah, no. yeah. It was a contact issue. Let's... So if you want... So, oh, so if you don't don't want to miss any future videos of this oscilloscope, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you want to support me. Thanks for watching and have a good one.